Hi folks, welcome to video number 176. This one is on trigonometry and finding sides in right angled triangles. Um, the keyboard's got for you trigonometry, sine, cosine, tangent, rats, opposite, adjacent, hypotenuse, lots of words there. Now trigonometry is another branch of mathematics that allows you to work out the missing side length or the missing angle, depending upon what you've got within the question. Sine, cosine, and tangent, well, they are the trig ratios. Um, and they're the, they're the things that we use in order to work out uh, missing side lengths or missing angles. And they're pre-programmed numbers in your calculator, basically. Um, rats are right angled triangles. Opposite is the um, one of the sides. Adjacent is one of the sides and hypotenuse is one of the sides of the right angled triangle. Um, and I'll go through which one's which um, within the questions. So to find a missing side in a right angle triangle, label the sides hypotenuse, opposite and adjacent. First thing that you've got to do is label the sides. Then you write out Sokotoa. All right. This is a thing that you need to remember. S-O-H-C-A-H-T-O-A. OK. And choose which trig ratio you um, uh, tri choose which trig ratio to use based on what sides you have and want. All right. So it's all about what you want and what you have. Draw a formula triangle, cover over the bit that you want, um, and then write a formula. Substitute into the formula, calculate using the formula, the numbers in the formula. You can use trigonometry in right angle triangles if you have one side and one angle. And remember, this is really key, the S in the Sokotoa bit stands for sine of the angle. C stands for cos of the angle and T stands for tan of the angle. All right. They're not just sine, cos and tan. They are of the angle. All right. Multiplied by the angle. Now, um, number one, find the length of the missing side. Give your answer to one decimal place. Now, this again, this is the most basic version of trigonometry that you will get. All right. One question for finding a side. Another question for finding a side. Um, but we're using different um, trig ratios to do that in these questions. So the first one is a case of labeling the triangle as, as it always is. OK, so we're going to say opposite. Right now, the reason this is the opposite side side length, this one here, because this is opposite the angle we've been given. OK, so it's about opposite the angle we've been given. There's our right angle in the triangle. OK, so the one across from that, the length that's across from the right angle is the hypotenuse. All right. Try and avoid using the word opposite right angle because otherwise that confuses people. It's the one that's directly across from the right angle. And then the uh, adjacent side length is the one that's left over, ADJ, okay, which is which means next to. Okay, so opposite is the one opposite the angle you've been given or opposite the angle you want. If you're finding an angle, that's for the next video. Um, the hypotenuse is the one that's the longest side directly across from the right angle. The adjacent is the one next to the angle that you've been given. Okay, now. Um, Let's write out Sokotoa. So S O H C A H T O A. Now you might have noticed there that I've written the middle letter of each uh, just above the other two. Now there's a reason for that because you're going to turn each one of these three things into a formula triangle. We need to decide which one or which trig ratio we're going to use: sine, cos, or tan. Okay. So um, and that comes from what we have and what we want. This is the bit that most people get confused with to begin with. Um, now we've got the adjacent and we want the hypotenuse. So it's H and A. So we want the one that's got H and A in it, which is the middle one. OK, that's got O and H in it. So we're not interested in that one. It's got O and A in it. So it's not that one. It's this one, C-A-H. So we draw the formula triangle. That's only for this particular question. OK. And then uh, we decide to uh, what what is that we want to work out. So we want to work out the hypotenuse, which is there. So we cover that over. All right. Imagine there's my thumb covering that H over. OK, we write down H equals and then A over C adjacent divided by cos of the angle. OK, because that line there stands for divided by. So it's A over C. You could write it if you want like that. But A is the adjacent side. So that's six. So H equals six and then C stands for cos of the angle. Now the angle in, we've got in the question is 15. All right. So cos of 15. Now that calculation right there is going to get you H straight away, the hypotenuse length. So X in our question, because X is the H side. OK, that is. We just have a go with our calculator. It's 
equal to 6 over cos 15. Um, fraction button first, 6 over cos 15. So there's our trig ratio next to the angle inside the bracket. It brings up the bracket automatically. So you've got 6 root 6 minus 6 root 2, which is an awkward thing. All right. But there's our answer to one decimal place. 6.2 is the answer. And that would be in centimeters because everything else is in centimeters or that length there is in centimeters. OK, and that's that. Basically the same thing for the next question, but slightly different because we're using a different trig ratio. And we still start off with the same thing. So opposite, right? Opposite is the thing we're finding for some reason. Right, let me write it properly. There we go. Opposite, OPP. This one's the adjacent, ADJ. And this time, the hypotenuse is the one we're not interested in. We're not bothered about that. Okay, so write it out again. Until you get used to it, S-O-H-C-A-H, T-O-A. That's our next step. Choose which one we want. So O and A. O and A is this last one, so don't want those. Going to do the Toba triangle, T O A. Okay, um, and then we're remembering that we're wanting to find O. So O equals tan of the angle multiplied by the adjacent. Okay, so tan of 37 and multiplied by the adjacent side length, which is 4. And there's the calculation that gets you value of x this time. So again, just bring the calculator in at that point after you've written down what you needed to. Type it in. So tan of 37 multiplied by 4. Okay, so sometimes you're multiplying and sometimes you're dividing. 3.01, so 3 would be our answer there to one decimal place, 3.0. Okay, there you go, done. Um, like I said, the most basic of trigonometry things, but it's a, again, fan, fundamental skill that you're going to need to learn in order to be able to answer all sorts of different problems. Now, question number two, A asks us to calculate the height of the triangle, give answer to three significant figures, and then we're going to find the area of the triangle. Okay, so this time, uh, much like the Pythagoras one that I had in the last video, we've, we've got the same triangle here or similar triangle uh, to this one, to the one that we had before. We could split it down the middle. Okay which does stuff to the angle here, all right? So if we split it exactly down the middle, we bisected that angle. That means this angle here is 12 degrees, okay? And if we split that exactly down the middle, we've got nine centimeters here. So what we've got is a right angled triangle here, okay? That is uh, nine centimeters on this base and has 12 degree angle here. So we've got an angle and we've got a length. And we wanna work out the height of the triangle. And the height is this length here. So that's this side length here. All right, so that side length will be called the adjacent because it's next to the angle that we've been given in the question. This is the opposite, all right, and this is the hypotenuse. So what we're using in this instance, again, is A and O. Okay, so that's our TOA again, but if we write it out, S-O-H-C-A-H-T-O-A, -A, the more times you write it, the easier it is to remember. Uh, you'll see A and O, all right? The thing we want and the thing we've got. So uh, the thing we uh, do next is TOA in the triangle, formula triangle. And then we write down A this time is equal to. So A equals opposite divided by tan of the angle. So opposite is 9. Tan of the angle is tan of 12, 12 degrees. That calculation is the thing that's going to give us our height. I'm going to call it H for height. And I'm going to do that calculation, which is fraction button 9 over tan of 12. Oops. 42.34. And again, just check what it said. I think it's was three significant figures, wasn't it? So 1, 2, 3, 42.3. And that would be in centimeters. Now the area, very easy to find now. Again, it's just a case of half the base times the height. We've got the height, half of the base of the whole triangle, this isosceles triangle, half the base there is nine centimeters. So we just take our answer and we multiply it by nine. Let's write that down. Type it in. So multiply by nine. Done. 381. And again, just round it to three, signif three significant figures. 381 centimeters squared. All right, so it's just uh, an appropriate use of trigonometry there that, that sees you through a problem like that. 
Now let's move over to the next one. Last question here. So a wordy one uh, that you wouldn't necessarily need to know uh, or wouldn't necessarily know that you need to use trigonometry for um, unless you draw out a little diagram. I'd always recommend drawing a little diagram in these sorts of problems. So Steve uses a three meter long ladder against a wall. Okay, we're assuming the wall is a solid wall, a solid wall that is not um, in any way wonky. All right, it goes directly up, vertical wall. The maximum safe angle between the ladder and the ground is 78 degrees. Um, Steve needs to paint a bit of wall that is 2.85 meters from the ground so he's his here's our ground right there's our ground imagine that's a lovely straight line he needs to go 2.5 meters up here on the wall um, and he's is he able to do this using the ladder show how you decide so three meter long ladder we know exactly how long the ladder is because okay, so the ladder's going up against the wall there you go there's our ladder we know that's three meters and we know this the maximum safe angle um, of the ladder between the, between the ladder and the ground that's this angle here. Now the maximum we can put it to is 78 degrees. All right. So we need to know, right? Can is this is this more or is it is it exactly the same as or more than uh, 2.85 meters? Okay. And for that we just use trigonometry. Okay. We've got an angle, we've got a side, and that's what you need to be thinking. If we've got an angle and a side, I can work out another length. Right. So um, we label the triangle up. All right. This is the opposite. This is the hypotenuse. All right, and that's our adjacent. And again, that's that's irrelevant here. We don't know need to know this. We might, it, for a different type of question, need to know what the distance is between the the ladder and the wall, uh, or the base of the ladder and the wall. But we don't for this one. So um, the we just need to know the height, right? The maximum height. So we need to know you can reach this bit of bit of uh, wall to paint it. So we're going to write out Sokotoa, S O H C A H T O A. Don't mind how you remember this, lots of different ways. Um, look it up. Um, and, or ask your teachers. <laughs> You've got uh, the three meter, which is the hypotenuse, and the 78 degrees is, is opposite the, the opposite. The opposite is the thing that we want, sorry. So O and H is this one, O and H, SOH. So we don't want that or that. We're gonna write out the SOH triangle. All right, like that. And then uh, you're gonna go O equals sine of the angle sine of 78 and then multiply that by three so the height the maximum height is going to be let's find out oh, 2.93 meters oh, and and some more uh, decimal numbers but 2.93 um, is is a is the, the maximum height that you could reach on this ladder so 2.85 meters is somewhere about there so yeah you could paint that bit because the ladder goes up far enough uh, so the answer would be uh, yes as 2.93 dot 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 meters is more than 2.85 meters so there you go given it a reason as well as our reason and our mathematics our mathematical um, trigonometry um, answer what am I bab babbling about now but that trigonometry bit of trigonometry we've just done has proved that we can paint that bit of wall all right or Steve can at least so good luck to Steve painting that bit of wall um, thank you for watching this video uh, please watch some more take care of yourselves bye bye